Hi, in this slide I want to introduce the concept of psychological flow. Um, first, just a, a definition of what flow is. Uh, it's a mental state of operation in which we are fully immersed in a feeling of energized focus, full involvement, control, creativity, and success. And I think the key thing here is when we're in flow, we lose sense of time. We just look at our watch and go, holy smokes, where did the time go? Um, and the way we get into flow is usually it's something we're intrinsically intrigued with and we, we, we've got some curiosity about it. But we're controlling the dial so that the degree of complexity, how fast it's coming at us, and so forth, it really uh, works for us. That's one of the reasons you find kids just getting totally hooked on on video games because in all these video games you can adjust the parameters so that you are right at your optimal uh, state of of uh, pace and complexity, etc. So you're not too stressed out, but not too bored, and so forth. Um, the so the idea that it's a it's a, it's a balance between skill level and you know our energy level at the time and the complexity and pace it's an intersection of a sort of a sweet spot of of a lot of our natural attribute uh, tendencies. Uh, and you'll hear other sort of uh, synonyms from other different kinds of walks of life. For example, in sports, you'll talk about being in the zone, and people. Uh, or, or getting some, some particular aspect grooved. A guy, you know, throws a, a perfect 300 game in bowling because he just finds the groove and just keeps doing with it, sticking with it. Uh, in, a, in a more um, spiritual way, we might talk about being centered. In other words, we're totally at peace. We're very calm. Our brain is just sort of empty and we can stay very in the eternal now present. Um, the uh, maybe in a more uh, artistic way, we could be on fire. Uh, a lot of computer guys will talk about being wired in, or in any uh, in a gambling world, we talk about being on a roll. But uh, all these are different uh, peaks at the concept of psychological flow. So now the question is, <clears throat> when it comes to flow, that's an output. And if our brain is sort of a black box, what are the inputs? What are the things that we can consciously think about and start to control about ourselves and our environment to increase the odds we can get into flow where we're going to learn learn it at an optimum speed? So that's the introduction to uh, the definition of flow. Let's look at, uh, uh, take deeper dives on subsequent clips. Thank you.